Developing tonight, jury deliberations underway in the trial of the driver in the deadly Waukesha Christmas parade crash. Six people killed, dozens more injured in the crash that happened almost a year ago. And the jury broke for the night a short time ago. And WJN's Jenna Barnes has been following the developments from Waukesha. Well, the jury had the case for about two and a half hours before breaking for the night at around 8.15. During their deliberations, the jury requested to review a handful of exhibits, including two videos. Daryl Brooks objected to the jury seeing them, but the judge overruled. The jury has to deliberate the 76 charges that Brooks faces in connection with the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy last November. He's accused of driving into the parade, killing six people and injuring 60 others. He would face mandatory life in prison if convicted of any of the homicide counts. Brooks is representing himself during this trial and he made his rambling closing argument to jurors today as prosecutors pointed to videos and witness statements to show the jurors their argument that he intended to kill people that day. I can't honestly say how many times I've sat in my cell, especially during lights out alone, where it's just you. And just been praying and asking myself, how could this happen? How can you look in somebody's head and say, this is what they intended to do? Hits the green children spectating on the sidewalk, keeps going. There was some discussion in the courtroom tonight about a Reddit post claiming to be from someone on this jury. The judge said law enforcement is investigating, and that post has since been updated to say it was a prank. The jury has been released for the night, but they're not going home. They're going to a different location because they're being sequestered. They will be back here tomorrow as court resumes at 8.30 in the morning. In Waukesha, Wisconsin, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.